Oh, this place is spooky. Oh my goodness. There's probably some ghosts here. This is an abandoned cabin I found and scouting on the motorcycle. And I've driven here a long distance for a specific purpose I'll share with you here in just a second. First, I want you to absorb its spooky vibes. <laughs> I think a lot of you guys would be freaked out if you were here. You'd be going, there's no way I'm going in that place. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I have the light going, my O-light. And so here's what it looks like without the O-light, dude. So that's just with the IR lamp on the Sony camera. It is dark, very, very dark in this haunted cabin. That's what I'll call it, the haunted cabin. I think the ghosts will like uh, what I'm getting ready to say though, because I'm gonna review something that will be very useful to you to dispel this darkness. And I'm starting out like this because this is exactly what your house is going to look like when the power goes out and it could be for a long time. What I am reviewing now are lanterns for your stay in bug in location. They're not really designed to go backpacking. They're a little bit too heavy for that. For car camping, they would be fine. And we're going to dispel this darkness right here with the lanterns I've brought. It will be a four in one integrated review four in one, which is a lot of value. Thanks to the TMP donors who make all this possible. They paid for the gas, the food to make this review possible. And actually for the lanterns too, because I bought them all, bought them all. Uh, organic infield review with probably some mistakes, but I'm just gonna keep rolling. I don't care. Let's show our first guest of honor here in the haunted cabin. This is our first lantern. And the cool thing about this is, look, you can see its locator beacon. You cannot turn that off. It flashes every six seconds. It's red. You can't really tell with my night mode, but I'm going to turn night mode off. There you go. And so that is actually designed so, like in this dark cabin, you can find it. I do wish there was a way to turn it off. I think you would agree. But let's go over here and let's turn it on. We'll just search in the blind and find the rubber button and there it is dudes oh come on camera focus focus it'll get there yeah there you go so this one's called the tough light 22 ounces about 62 dollars and i'm going to cover its modes what it does and then we're going to lift the camera up and look around the haunted cabin and see if we can see any ghosts ghostesses uh, I am impressed, I will say, with every single lantern I'm showing you tonight. They are all recommended. You'll have to figure out what is best for you. And I, I really don't think you can make a bad choice. Now, I will say this. Uh, foundationally, the four I'm going to show you, some have more versatility than others. There's one that has a hand winding capability. Some have an ability, I think actually... Uh, Three of them have an ability to charge your cell phone with varying uh, capacities for their batteries. And I'll tell you what the capacities are as we go along here. Now, again, these are going to be for your bug in location. I'm not going to say that this is uh, a backpackable. So I told you the weight, 22 ounces. I'm not carrying 22 ounces in the field, dude. <laughs> There's no way. What I will do is I'll carry my Olight probably a single cell light of some sort, and I'll put a, a torch cone on it. This is an iridescent Olight S2R limited edition. I don't have the torch cone on it, but you've seen them a lot. It's just a plastic cone. Diffuser cone is the actual name that will snap on the top of it. It does a great job of being a camp light, a tent light. These are more capable. They have more burn time. They provide more area lighting. Light. Let me run over some specifics with you. IPX6 it's drop tested to six feet. They'll say this will hold a charge for nine months. That is running a 400 lumen Cree LED. They're saying it will throw to 85 feet. Okay. Here's another thing foundationally to all these. Uh, if you're going to go in a cold environment, I would probably cut the run times in half. And by cold, I mean like 32 Fahrenheit or below. 
So I'm going to give you some run times on some of these and just run through them real quick. But they're saying 85 feet. Okay. Um, it actually runs, and this is kind of cool on this one. Let me show you on the back. Get my O light here because it's dark. So you can actually unscrew it. And on the tough light, there's three 18650 batteries here. That's pretty cool. And it notice that compartment is O-ring sealed. That's awesome. Uh, those are not removable. I mean, it's, I guess you could. You could replace the battery pack, but they're meant to stay in there. They're going to charge via a USB port in the back here. Right here. That's where you're going to charge it. And actually, that's where you plug in your included USB cable to charge maybe an iPhone or something. So this one, I think that's a micro. No, that's a USB-C on the bottom that you charge it with. But you can screw that base in. This has a top hanger. And it is coated in hard rubber. I really like the hanger. It seems very sturdy. I have dropped this a couple times. It has not broken on me. Uh, it seems like a quality product, this Tough Light. Other specifics, uh, they do have a different version. Uh, this is the 400 lumen. They have an, a 1,000 lumen, but I didn't get that because it was bigger and heavier. And I, I think this is what would, you guys would like at your house right here. This this torch, as the Brits call it. Again, it has a USB included cable on it. Let's run down what it can do. So you, this is your battery indicator right here, dudes. So if it turns red, then you need to recharge it. I think that's how that works. There's medium, there's low. There's flashing, which is helpful. And there's off. Real quick, 400 lumens is what this one is. They say it throws to 85 feet. We'll look around here in a second. They'll say at 400 lumens, it'll burn 24 hours. That's pretty good. So at its high mode, 24 hours. The medium mode is 162 lumens burning for 75 hours. The low mode is 40 lumens uh, at 200 hours. And there it is. I. Just remember, this is one of them that has a red light. You press and hold to access your red light. That's eight lumens. It preserves your night vision. They're saying that that will uh, go for 312 hours in temperate conditions on the tough light. I really like that it has a red mode. If you go flashing, can I press this again? It goes flashing. Red, no, it just goes off. Uh, then it says like it'll burn for like 10 years. <laughs> okay, I might be exaggerating a little bit. So that, there you go, that's the lowdown on it. So I'm gonna turn my light off. Let's look around the haunted, abandoned, and I'm not making this up, dudes. I, I, I'm not filming this in my backyard. I mean, dude, I drove here in the Titan. There's a Titan right there, see it? Yeah, dude, I ain't making this up. So here we go, high mode in the haunted cabin. I would love it if there was a ghost standing at that other end, that would rock. He could help me review. I would classify the light as very good, really good. Definitely, if you were to hang it from one of the rafters here, uh, it could do a good job of illuminating the area. I wouldn't say it's gonna be amazing, it's not like at home, but it's definitely a usable light. And I do think I have that in high mode on the tough lantern. Make sure. Yeah, I did have it on high note mode right there. So you go, that's the tough. Tough, uh, I called it the lantern, tough light is what it's called. Next up, this is going to be a two for one, and these are interesting lights. One of these I've had for a long time, it's this one, and this is called the LE LED. And then I have another one that's very similar, and there are some differences, and you need to know what they are. I've had that one on the right that's burning for probably four years as an emergency light to my own system. Um, they're calling it an LE. You can see the symbol right here, LE. LED is a brand. The one on the right runs on 4D batteries. This is the one I bought years ago. So I've had this. This is a rechargeable one I just bought. So the weight on this one is substantial. So you might wanna keep that in mind. On the LE LED lantern, the weight on this uh, is a, I wrote it down, 29 ounces, holy crap, <laughs> 29 ounces, 
This one is 19 ounces. This is one of our lighter lights with full capabilities. Okay, again, like the other one, let me run through some specifics. The cool thing about these LE LEDs is they have dual LEDs. In other words, they have a 6,000K and then they have a 30, uh, I'm sorry, 3,000K. You're looking at the 6,000K on this one. Now, if I press it again, notice the color changes. That's 3,000K. Then if I press it again, I got to do it while it's on. Notice they're both burning. So you see that? I don't know if the camera can catch it, but you're actually burning both sets of LEDs. One set of LED is 3,000 uh, Kelvin. The other one is 6,000. And those are both of them together. And these are running on my older batteries. So these batteries have been out, are in the lantern for some time. Let's go through the modes. There's warm, both, and there's your flashing. Cool, and I don't think this one has a red mode to it. Okay, so they say the 6000K that you're looking at now, and I'm talking for this one. Let's turn the rechargeable one on. Look at that, dude. So you can tell the battery difference. That's, the batteries on this, like I said, are probably old. They're probably four years old. So this is a rechargeable one, but even if these aren't old, this is gonna dominate it for brightness because rechargeable power cells, as we know, are just more effective. They just are. But look at how bright that thing is, dude. We'll hold it up here in the haunted castle here in a minute. <laughs> Eight hours are sane in temperate conditions, burn time. Then if you go 3,000, that's that warm LED, 12 hours. Then if you go both, and notice the way I'm gonna cycle through is I gotta turn off and then I rapidly cycle back. Now both filaments are burning. They're saying 6.5 hours. Then both flashing like that, they're saying uh, 72 days. Yes, I am kidding. I don't know, it's a long time. I forget, I didn't write it down. Uh, which one would I prefer between both of these? Mm, it's a hard decision, because even though the D battery one is heavier, it's nice to be able to have D batteries to put in here, you know what I'm saying? The, char the shelf time on this, I think, is like nine months is what they're saying, so you can, charge this up in nine months, it'll still be good to go. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal to throw it on a charger every nine months, but what if you forget? So then the power outage happens, you find yourself in the dark haunted cabin, and then you didn't have a chance or you forgot in your busy life to charge this up. You can put D batteries in this. You can store up D batteries. So hard to say which one's absolutely better. This one's brighter, more versatile. And it is running, I think I wrote this down, a 4,400 milliamp battery. And so unlike this one, this does not have the ability to charge your wire, your devices. This one does. So you lift the rubber cover here, and then you'll see a USB port in here. Let me get my, uh, my knife. There you go, right here. So that looks like a micro USB to charge the LE LED lantern and then the output is the USB right there. But it's not a ton of output on this because I think they said maximum of one watt output on this one for charging, let's say your phone. I think that's it, I could be off on that one. This is model 33000B, 453 bucks is what I paid for it and 19 ounces. And they come in two packs, this one. I, I am very impressed with that. The two packs are fantastic. Boker Blade, FR. Fantastic knife, by the way. Watch, by the way, is a Deep Blue Master 1000. Keeping me happy tonight. Uh, very impressed with the lights. I like them both. Uh, if I had to decide, which one would you get? Nothing fancy if you are just getting one of them. Um... Hard decision, but I'd probably go with what I did. i go with a two-pack of the LED LEDs, and I'd, I would go with the 400 lumen version that you're watching right here. Now, I myself like a 6,000 pure white LED, but that's a matter of taste. So I'll go to the warm one here, turn this one off. I think a lot of people like this because it's more homey, that they like it. It just reminds them of home. I, I see a ghost in the corner saying he likes it. He's digging it. Say in comment which color you like. Do you like the bright white? Do you like uh, maybe a more yellowish LED? 
Another cool thing you can do is you can actually remove this, see the O-ring on the globe, and you actually have an undiffused lighting capability for more direct light with LE, LED lanterns as well. This, that one does it too. That's really cool. Most of these will do that. This is a frosted globe uh, and it gives you some diffused light. Another good hanger on this one. These all have really good hangers. Uh, I didn't drop test this one, I'm not gonna, but I would suspect that it would do pretty good. There's a hanger on the bottom. That's a nice added versatility point on this one. Because uh, if you do take the globe off, you can hang it upside down if you want more direct reading light, for instance. Highly recommended. Both are awesome. Same comment if you're impressed or if you hate them both. On we go. That right there was, again, the LE, LED, and I hope I'm, I, I told you right. Maybe this is a 1000 L, but I thought I got the 400 lumen one. I could be wrong, though. Next one you guys are going to be blown away with. This is so cool. So cool. You guys, I know you guys are just going to dig this one. So this is from Goal Zero. Goal Zero. And it it is so impressive because this is more of a survival light right here. It's called the Goal Zero Lighthouse. And check this out. The one thing I love about it is it has a rheostat on it. Okay, a rheostat. And by that, I mean it's a turnable knob. And if you turn to the left, you actuate one LED. If you turn to the right, you actuate both. This is your battery level indicator and also a locator. Pretty cool, right? And I think there's a way you can turn those on and keep it on too. Maybe strap it to the top of your car to get people to move out of your way quicker. I don't know. So let's turn on to the right. We'll turn both of them on. The one thing I'll say about the Goal Zero Lighthouse, and this is 20 ounces, 70 bucks is what I paid for this. 20 ounces, 70 bucks, worth every penny by the way, you'll see that, is that it does have that yellow light, and I'm not sure the camera's capturing it, and I forgot to carry this around in the haunted cabin here, but we'll do it here in a sec. Uh, it is yellowish. The camera's not showing it. It looks like white in the viewfinder. It is yellowish. I do kind of wish it was like a 6,000 Kelvin one. Minor point, minor point. Um, if you can get past that, this thing is a machine. It's very impressive. It pretty much looks like a UFO. Look at this. Doesn't it look like a UFO, dude? So on the rheostat, it has an infinite number of brightness levels you can select. How cool is that, dude? There's another one that did that too. I think it's a tough light. It, uh, there's another one I forgot to show you that if you hold it, you can actually adjust the levels. But then if we turn it to the left, that's the off position, turn it left. Now we're just burning one side. Look, so th that's maximum burn and it's more directional. So with one side lit, low power, that's with that rheostat turned all the way down. They're saying, 320 hours with a fully charged internal battery. And this, I don't think, is a pair of 18650s like the others. This says it's a UN3481 battery, if you care. Now, one side lit high power. Let's do that. We'll turn it up all the way. They're saying five hours. Now, we'll go both sides, very low, right here. It's the lowest we can get. They're saying 180 hours there. Both LED sides lit. Then if we go full power, fully charged battery, moderate temperature, 2.5 hours. The bottom line to all that is that it is a very capable lantern. The ergonomics on this are the best out of all the ones I'm showing you. The ability for you to turn the, the holding hooks upside down and use it as a base is phenomenal because it raises the light. Let's look around the Honda cabin with this a little bit, shall we? Nothing fancy. I love it when you do this stuff. I like it when you watch it because it makes me want to do more. And I like it even more when you use my links below. Look at that, dudes. So this is providing a lot more light than that other one. I think one reason is that it has like a bigger globe, 360 degree illumination. There's a ghost in the rafters. He's saying he loves it. He's like, this is his favorite so far. And he likes the warm light he's saying. Yeah, so I would call the illumination on this uh, fantastic. I mean, you could run one Goal Zero lighthouse, aptly named, by the way, and uh, you'd be good to go. 
it would light up an area as well, as big as you're seeing. This cabin right here, right? Okay, other stuff. Um, there is another one, another Goal Zero. Did I write it down? Yeah, it's a mini. It's for 40 bucks. Uh, it's smaller, lighter, doesn't burn as much, and I don't think it has the capability like this one does to, uh, where did my light go? My flashlight go. It got dropped it. It doesn't have the capability to charge your devices. See your output right here? This is your USB output. Let me turn this off so you can see. Turn it down. So you're gonna plug in your USB cable right here. You can charge your phone or whatever. Now notice this, this Goal Zero is such a smart company, how they engineer stuff. And their mission is really to provide cool needed devices worldwide with the power of the sun or through hand cranking. They're really big into solar. Although this is not a solar powered light, but this has a wraparound included green USB cord for charging. Okay, that's cool. So and that's why you're normally gonna charge it, right? You normally charge it, you just unwind the cord, plug it in, charge it. And this is something else you're gonna love. That's your handle right here. So this is how you're going to crank it. You unstow your handle and you just rotate it quickly and you can actually charge the battery up doing this, albeit it's going to take some calories, right? They say one minute equals 10 minutes of illumination if you're turning the crank at 130 RPMs. This has a 5200 milliamp battery, one of the biggest ones, 600 lumen with both LEDs powered. That's the brightest one I've shown you and I think that I'm showing you tonight. It will maintain its charge for about three to six months of shelf life. And there's really good info on the bottom here. So if like, that's where I got the battery information right here. So it just lists the battery. It's drop tested to 70 feet. Yes, I'm kidding. Okay, now the camera's showing the yellow. See that? It, for whatever reason, the camera just resequenced its white balance. Now that is perfect. That, that's an accurate depiction of what kind of light you're gonna get out of these. Yeah, seven hours to charge. This is a Goal Zero Lighthouse, $70. This is a bigger one, 20 ounces. I'm very impressed with it. Very impressed. I, I'm impressed with all these. I ain't gonna lie. They are fantastic. Uh, on we go to the next one. I have a feeling you guys are gonna really like this. I'll show you how that winds. Only the highest, highest production values in the Nut and Fancy project. Holy cow, how cheesy is that? Look at that battery meter. That's easily my favorite battery meter too. Freaking UFO, man. Uh, it doesn't have like a blinking light on it, which I don't care. And it stows up relatively compactly. Uh, it doesn't come with a carry case. None of these do. And that's fine by me because I generally throw those away. If I have a carry case, I'll just freaking huck them. Okay, this one is coming from our friends at Olight. Olight product. And this is, they've since updated, but this is the Olight Classic Lantern. It's very compact. It's only 12.5 ounces. It is pretty much awesome. It does not have the capabilities of the other ones. So this particular version only goes to 300. Let me go right here if I can. There you go. So it looks pretty bright, but they're saying 360 lumens, medium, is it's bright enough to blind me 20 hour, hours and then the low is 30 lumens at 75 hours for the o light classic they have a newer version i'll cover that here in a second and it looks very similar to this one they're saying this has a 7600 milliamp battery i find that hard to believe because it's so tiny it comes with an mcc3 magnetic charging cable it's the kind that we've been using for our o lights forever uh, the downside to this is that that is a proprietary charging system. If you lose that cable, you're hosed. Um, it doesn't have a way to swap out batteries, nor do the other ones. The Gold Zero and that Tough Lantern, this one, are really the only ones that have that capability. Oh, I'm sorry, not the Tough Lantern. This one with the D batteries are the ones that are, are pretty much versatile for their power sources. Interchangeable modules came with this one. So it had one that you could take the globe off, O-ring sealed, 
and you could put on a flickering flame burning, I think, at like 3,000 Kelvin. So it's kind of that yellowish thing. This one, when I got it, I bought it at, this is years ago. I've had this one for, heck, um, three at least three years. But I got it with a Christmas globe on it, <laughs> which is really cool. If I find the Christmas globe, I'll put it on. If not, just imagine it. But this screws off, the globe screws on, and it illuminates the Christmas tree. Pretty cool for decoration. Uh, for a short time, they also had some pumpkin globes for the O-Light O-Lantern Classic. Not sure if the new versions do that. They might. The hook on this is pretty excellent. It's uh, silicone covered. Strong hook. All the hooks on these are good. The globe is tough polycarbonate. Um, the Probably the cheesiest globe, the one I'd worry most about would probably be the LE LED. I think the globe on this is, is decent, but if it took a Vulcan hit on the side, it might crack that plastic. I don't really worry about this one. This one's tough. Really tough, but not as versatile. I mean, this one, again, has a charging port. This one doesn't. Now, one thing about the Olight Little Lanterns, and they had a full-size one too, but that was out of stock when I checked tonight. But when you turn it off, that green light stays on forever, dude. So if that bothers you, um, probably stay away from that one and also the tough light. Because remember, the tough light does it too. It has that, that uh, every six seconds, that blinking red. Now, they do this so in a camping environment, you can find it, of course, right? <laughs> Put it upside down. How funny. Uh, and in a power outage environment, you could find it. Oh, light. Let me run down what the new one does. The new one has more modes in this. It actually has a black, I'm sorry, a red mode. This one doesn't have it. It's called the Mini Camp Lantern. It's also 12.5 ounces. I'll have a link to that below. It's about $60. Uh, these, by the way, are IPX4, one meter drop resistant. Uh, the new one, the Mini Camp Lantern, will be 150 lumens, not as bright as this one, 4 hours, 50 lumens at 12 hours, 15 lumens at 48, 1 lumen at 34. Sorry, I have to run through that. <laughs> yeah. May have read, I said this has a 7600 milliamp. I don't think that's right. I think this one uh, might have a 2000 milliamp. Does that really matter? No, not really. This is a smart battery indicator right here. So when it's green, you're good to go. If it's orange, your battery's running out. If it's red, it's time to charge. Uh, let's take a look around in high mode on the Olight O-Lantern Classic. Cycling through the modes. And I press and hold, there it is. There's, there's the high mode. What do you think, nothing fancy? Is that dispelling the ghosts? in that weird cabin that you found to film in. Uh, I will say it's doing really good. This little O-Light is kicking it out, dude. It is kicking it out. I ain't gonna lie. Now, the newer version of this, I don't know if it's as much. Remember, this is what, what did we say? 360 lumens. But this is legit, dude. I mean, and it's only 12 and a half ounces. Downsides are you can't recharge your devices. Burn times aren't as long, but it's smaller. This is one I might go like backpacking with on a short distance. Definitely car camping. All these I take car camping. Oh, we're wrapping it up, dudes. Wrapping it up. Uh, there's another one of these that had like an infin infinite adjustment. Maybe it was this one. I hope I can show you. I think you press and hold. Yeah, it's this one, dudes. Okay, I forgot to show you this and I'm so glad I remembered. So we are looking at the LE LED again, right? The one thing you can do with this is you can press and hold this and it's a digital rheostat notice how you'll get an infinite brightness level on those very white leds so you can go low mode for maximum brightness and you can click the switch like i showed you another way to access it so i didn't show you around the cabin with this one really good it's better than that o-light really good Fantastic. I mean, you can see the distance that it's thrown here in the haunted cabin. The ghosts love all of these. They really do. Um, uh, like I said, you really can't go wrong with any of these. And if you guys, you probably have some lanterns of your own you want me to go and review. 
Uh, I'm not super excited because I had to spend money on these. <laughs> so, Olight didn't give me that one. I bought it. No one gave me anything. I bought it with donation dollars. Um, these are the ones I'm doing right now. I might do a, ba a second batch, you know, later on. But again, these are emergency lanterns. And I, there's not a loser in the bunch. They are all fantastic, worth the money. What I really want for you guys, though, is that you have something. That you have something in the house. You keep it charged up. Uh, these are probably too big and heavy to go in your BOK. Um, I would recommend just going with a standard 18650 powered light, like I said on my BOK series. Dial those up. You'll see them, uh, the, that series of videos. But these are great really good lights and I intend to put them in my own systems after this review and uh, they're high value for what you're getting thank you so much for watching we are here in the haunted cabin this has been a lantern shootout nothing fancy project we'll see you next video